Hey everyone, I'm Tim with Auto Robotics. Have you been flying with a Wi-Fi only device and noticed that you don't have any maps out of your favorite flying locations? Well today we're going to show you how to resolve that. This is called map caching. In this video we will show you how to cache maps to your device if you are using a device without cellular connections. The Starlink app will automatically download and cache Google Maps when connected to Wi-Fi. You do not need to power on the drone or RC to cache maps. Make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi and launch the Starlink app on your device and enter into the map view. You will see the map is now loading onto your device. Scroll to the location you planned on flying and zoom in. This will load more details of the map. If you want to use more than the default map view, you need to cycle through the other options like hybrid and satellite views for those maps to load. Now that we have downloaded the maps to the Starlink app, we can head out for our flight. You may notice that the Starlink app size has increased. This is because the maps are stored inside of the app. If the app is taking up too much space in your device, you can simply uninstall and re-download it again from the App Store. Let's take a look at a few other settings for the map. Under the general settings, we can turn on or off the flight route. This is the light blue line that shows where you have already flown. This setting is useful if you're mapping or surveying an area but it could be distracting for some if you're just flying for fun. Another option is called Calibrate for Mainland China. This option would be used if you're traveling to East Asia. Inside the map view, we can also lock the orientation of the map, recenter the map to our home point or to the aircraft's location, and we can change the layers of the map. If you're on an Android device, you will see an option for AMAP. This feature tells the Starlink app to pull the maps from a different server other than Google, this feature should remain off unless you're in China. If you're on an iOS device, this option is not available as the iOS device will automatically switch when needed. And that's it. The only thing left to do now is to grab your X-Star, get outside, and have fun. We'll catch you later.